Hi guys, good morning. I could not sleep last night. I don't know if it's because it's rave day again or if, I don't know, but I got back to my hostel probably around like 12.30ish, 1ish. And I did pass out pretty fast, but then I woke up at 4 in the morning, just couldn't fall asleep. Um, and then I, I mean, I managed to fall asleep and then I think it was like 8 a.m. one night. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get up and get ready. It's currently 8.43. I'm really thirsty. I'm not very hungry, so I'm just gonna go to the store and get some water, get some juice, um, get ready for today. Eddie's picking me up later and I think we're gonna leave early because we wanna get there like when, right when the doors open. Um, so I think he's picking me up at one. And yeah, I'm so excited. I still don't know who I want to see for the camp down. I'm between Alesso, Porter Robinson, and Chris Lorenzo. I'm probably gonna end up at Alesso, let's be honest. But the other two are so good too. I really want to see them live. Why you gotta do this to me? But okay, I will keep you guys updated and we'll see what happens. Happy rain day. Happy Tuesday. Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs>
Yo, countdown, what the fuck is up right now? You guys having a good time? Let me hear you scream.
evening, afternoon, if you're watching this at a later time, which you probably are. Um, it's morning for me currently. I am finished getting ready for work and I thought I would film this and I have Chomper here with me because I didn't have him with me in the car the other day. For people that haven't met Chomper, this is Chomper. He's my rave baby. I'm his mom. <laughs> that sounded so weird. <laughs> um, anyways, countdown. Countdown was so much fun. It was great. It was a really great time for me. Like, I think it was the perfect way for me to end 2019 and start 2020. Like, I don't know how I could have done anything better for a New Year's Eve and a New Year's. It was great. I loved it. A little run through um, from Countdown. So, um, Eddie did end up pick me up. Eddie did end up picking me up at around like one, one thirty, and I was ready, which was so it was great. And so he picked me up. We were gonna go meet up with the other people that he, you know his group that he was gonna go with. I had never met them, and I remember we like parked the car, and you know he had to like go into his house and like get stuff, and I was like my. Um, introverted side came out because I'm naturally an introvert so even just doing this is going way out of my comfort zone and I remember I was like in the car and I'm like okay I'm gonna just stay here you're gonna come in I'll just say hi everything will be fine you know like that's how we're gonna meet like it'll be great and I literally had to pep talk myself into like no Jess you this is why you came for you came to make new friends you're gonna get out of the car and go introduce yourself and say hi and it was it was for me it was so awkward like out, so out of my comfort zone I, I ugh. but I did it I did and then um, so I'm that's when I met uh, Christian George Lupe and Nancy and um, right away I was like okay I'm gonna make friends with these girls cuz you know I need more girlfriends more and, tired and it was a long drive I thought it was a long drive it was shorter than the bus ride though yeah. that's for sure and then we like parked the car we like go in and we were gonna go to the lockers because um, Eddie had a locker and I was gonna leave my onesie there since I didn't want to carry it. And there was like merch, and I remember Lupe and Nancy were gonna go look at the merch, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm like, I wanna go look at the merch too. So I did, but by the time I like went over there, like I didn't know where they were. I didn't, I didn't see them anymore. And something just, I panicked, and I like, I don't know why I didn't wait for them, and I like left. And I'm like, okay, like I just want to like be at a stage right now. So that's when I went to AT AT Lions, AT Lions. I I don't know how to pronounce their name, but AT Lions. I hope that's right. Uh, that's when I went there, and I wasn't feeling the music. Like I think I stayed for the song or like that part that I filmed, and then like one more song, and then I like left, and. Um, I like lost them you know like I I lost them they were um, we were gonna meet up and then I just like decided to just kind of like leave and like walk around so I was just like you know walking around by myself as a chomper and that's when um, I heard the house beat and I like that's where I want to be so I went to the house stage um, which was the t Twilight Zone sorry and I was just like I was grooving to the music it was mellow it was like slow it was what I was feeling so that's where I stayed um, that's when I stayed for Franklin West, Franklin West and Franklin West and I forgot their name. It was the first time hearing it. I will put their name down below. And I was just like there grooving and then you could, you can tell my progression of like mood changed throughout the night. So I finished at their stage and then codes went on and I like stayed for maybe like half their set. Um, and I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Like I wanted something upper beat. Um, it was a little too mellow for me at that time. So that's when I like left that stage. And I again, I didn't know any of the DJs playing during this time frame. So I was just walking around, and I'm like, okay, let's see what else I like here. And that's when I heard some drum and bass, which was perfect for what I was feeling and it was perfect because it was at the stage that etc etc was gonna play so that's where I wanted to be so I stayed and it was a lot of fun like I loved the drum and bass I've never heard it live and that was amazing I was jumping up and down and it was so much fun like I need some more drum and bass this 2020 like I need to be at a stage where there's drum and bass again 
that was a lot of fun and then etc etc went on which is amazing one of the <laughs> I'm out of breath um the two DJs I went for for Countdown was etc etc and Gesture like those are the two DJs that I was not gonna miss their set I didn't care who else was playing I was not missing their set so etc etc went on I loved it we went crazy and then I made my way since I was already like pretty fun I like made my way more to the rail especially when the aliens came out I was like I need to get this this is really cool um, like really cool then, girls you saw them in the video um, and then a blunts and blondes went on and I hadn't I haven't really heard it I've heard of blunts and blondes but I didn't really like hear his like music a lot so I just stayed there I sat there for about 20 minutes and then I like I'm just like what am I doing you know I've gone to festivals before where like you know I go with a group of friends and then someone kind of just like leaves and I know from like my side like being on that side of uh, like being on that side of everything then thinking back like I've gone with this person to two two fast two big festivals and I don't think I have any memories like because they just never they're not with us like with the whole group and I'm like if I came with these people like you know like they they let me be part of their group like let, they let me like join and then I just like left like what am I doing and I just felt super guilty and maybe like that's why I was roaming around like I couldn't find like a good groove and I'm just like what am I doing so that's when I like I text Eddie and I'm like okay you know what like where are you guys like or I texted the group chat and like Eddie replied when we met up with um, every or when I met up with everybody else it was I don't know it was like everyone was a little bit more like loose you know like I don't know and I felt like I have known these people my whole life and it was like I was meeting my, up with my friends so that was pretty great feeling um, we like I ended up staying with the, with my group the whole time um, and we were gonna meet for gesture regardless but it was kind of nice like meeting up before and then we like went for gesture and gesture blew the house down like he his set was fire like if you have not listened to gesture go listen to gesture he is amazing i i loved it chomper was wild and he was dancing with everybody as you guys saw like it was so much fun and let me tell you when he ended his set with la gasolina from daddy yankee we all lost it <laughs> if you liked it comment you know give it a thumbs up subscribe um, I really like making these videos. Editing is my favorite part in the whole world, so I hope you guys like the crazy edits I made to this one. I thought I had more, like, things I could, like, edit with and, like, play around with, with, um, content-wise, so. Hope you like that. You know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me comments, what do you want to see, what do you want to see next. Like I said, it, I don't want this to just be purely festival-related, because obviously, like, now, you know the next festival is not in march which is 10 weeks away so i obviously have to like make different content in those 10 weeks um it'll be definitely vlogs like travel vlogs i'm trying to travel more this year so if i do end up traveling somewhere i will take you guys with me and just like you know record what i do yeah whatever you guys want me to like review or try or do Trumper and i are game just let us know um Shout out to Alex who gave Chomper his second um, candy. We met at Audiotistic. He was a lot of fun. <laughs> Bye. Have a good week. Happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you watch this. Have an amazing day. Bye.